Hello and welcome to Guild Rock SMP episode number 14. The war seems to have fizzled out now, and that's a good thing as I have plenty to be getting on with. I'm going to spend this episode making a map art for the pig racing event that never seems to be quite finished. I also spot another prank taking place during this episode, so watch out for that. Well, let's grab our crayons and get started. Right, here I am. I'm uh, doing some map art. As you can see on the left there, I've got the cup all planned out. That's going to be in uh, gold. And I'm currently putting down some carpet. And this is going to be a checkered coloured background going behind the cup. And I'm going to fade it from over this side over here. It's going to be sort of a very dark grey coming out of the black and then slowly getting lighter as it gets towards the cup just over there. Um, so I'm putting all this in now. Uh, how many have we got there? One, two, three. Yep, it's going to take a while to do all this. Oh, run out of there. There we go. Luckily, my um, piston tape uh, farm's been chucking out black wool night. There's no tomorrow. So hopefully, this won't take too long. Well, as you can see, it's been quite a while since the last update. Um, yes, and I've done a fair bit of work on here. Um, going great guns on this lot at the moment. Cup's done, background flag is done, as you can see. I um, haven't really done much map art before. I'm surprised how few colours that we've got to play with in Bedrock. It's a very 8-bit colour palette, so struggling with getting nice gradients in the shading here. Um, this is the gold cup, so the winner of any races is going to get this one. Then there's going to be a silver cup, which I'm going to build directly on top of this. And then a bronze cup, which I'll build on top of that, I expect. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But anyway, yes, uh, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update halfway through. Still lots of black background to go on, so I'm hoping perhaps somebody can give me a help with that sometime. Right, I'm just coming in for another uh, dose of map art. So let's have a look and see. <laughs> it looks pretty good from up here. There's still a lot of black carpet to put down, but that's a lot of progress. Oh, even got a little rabbit. Come here, little rabbit. <laughs> right, time to put my stuff down and uh, get started again. Okay, I'm going to pull out some black wool. I've got a whole load that I've just uh, got from my farm. And we're going to try and put some carpet in this thing. Uh, let's see, I've got up to... Where did I get up to before? Oh, just over here. And I did learn something about <laughs> mindlessly putting down black carpet forever and a day. And that is, you can not just run along with it, but you can run jump with it. And that's really very helpful. It just speeds it up no end. So I'm hoping this will... Oop. Although you do get a bit far away if you uh, forget to... Uh, Put your black carpet down, pick up your next patch of black carpet. Right, I'm out of black wool again, so I'm going to have to go back and do some work on the base and wait for the black wool to come through the machine. <laughs> now, I was just coming through to check shop profits and things like that when I noticed something going on down here. And it's outside Wolf's netherite shop. So we demand orange netherite. <laughs> I thought the whole war thing had come to an end, but it looks like it started again with some protest outside his shop and some orange. Actually, that's just given me a really good idea. I'll be back in a minute. Right, here we are, back again, and I think we are going to have a little stand here. And we're going to put an orange shulker on there. And look, I've got some orange netherite. Uh, I don't know what sort of pattern I'm going to make out of this, but... Oh! Well, <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that if I'd tried. Right, here we go. So we'll sell some orange netherite here. Actually, how much is Wolf's netherite? I've no idea. Let's go and have a look. That sounds dodgy. Right, how much is it? What? Doesn't it say on the blocks itself? Oh, there we are. Six diamonds per ingot. Let's undercut him a little bit for ours, yeah? Right, let's take that off. Right. Oh, no, not like that. 
Right, orange. No, that's right, yes, nether right. Four diamonds per ingot. There we go. We'll undercut him with our orange netherite. <laughs> Put him out of business. <laughs> I don't know who's done that, but it's looked quite funny. Uh, let me just take a screenshot of that, I think. All right, there we go. Very nice. While I've been waiting for a new batch of wool, I've been filling in some of the blocks I haven't been... Oops. <laughs> Oops, I forgot that's quite easy to break. I've been filling in some of the blocks that were empty and hadn't been filled up, so that's all along here. And I started putting the foundations in on some of the bigger buildings, like up there, which is the wool farm, and this one up here. And I put in all of these pathways as well, so you don't have to... Uh, climb up all of these awkward slopes like that there all the time to get around But also I have put in these little pools of water because got myself a riptide trident And it's making getting around the base so much easier now. It's really nice. In fact, it's quite good fun just to uh, Fly around on the elytra now because there's so much to uh, actually fly around too So yes, I'm having lots of fun doing some base work while the uh, wool is being farmed up there. Just come into the shopping district to have a look and see how my orange netherite shop is going. And it's vanished, along with all my orange netherite. Hmm. Well, the other day somebody nicked all the wool out of the wool shop, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Now the same things happened to my uh, orange netherite shop. Hmm. I wonder if it's got something to do with Mr. Wolf here. I'll have to find out. Right, the map is finally finished, and here it is. So let's have a look and see what it looks like from the air. Right, well that's pretty good actually. It's upside down. I've done it upside down, oh no! Terrible, oh no, it's the right way up now. <laughs> so there it goes. It looks pretty good. Now all we've got to do is the other two cups, the silver and the bronze. And I'm going to be making that over the top of this cup and just changing the lettering down the bottom so hopefully it won't be too bad and let's have a look at the map yep that looks pretty good actually so I'm happy with that that brings us to the end of this episode I'll probably complete the silver and bronze trophies in between episodes now but I'll make sure to update you once they're complete I think it would be nice to do a collab next time, so let me know who you'd like to see me work with in the comments, or perhaps one of the members of Guildrock would like to volunteer down below. Thank you all for watching today, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode, I've certainly had fun making the map art, and producing the amount of wool needed for it. Please leave a like and a comment, and consider subscribing if you want to see some more. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, so have fun, and see you later.